been reported in the mainstream media, and it goes back to your issue of does crimes matter or, does, or what this definition is, is that House, uh, our majority initially accused the president, and they kept saying quid pro quo, and we still hear it as we go through. But then, as reported, they used a political focus group to determine whether the phrase polled well. And apparently it didn't poll well, so they agreed to change their theory of the case to bribery. Does that not just feed into more of what you're saying about how we're actually the crime matters and that facts do matter in a case like it, or at least should matter? It does. There's a reason why every past impeachment has established crimes, and it's obvious. It's not that you can't impeach on a non-crime. You, you can. In fact, non-crimes have been part of past impeachments. It's just that they've never gone up alone or primarily in, as the basis of impeachment. That's the problem here. If you prove a quid pro quo, that you, you might have an impeachable offense. But to go up only on a non-criminal case would be the first time in history. So why is that the case? The reason is that crimes have an established definition and case law. So there's a concrete, independent body of law that assures the public that this is not just political, that this is a president who did something they could not do. You can't say the president is above the law if you then say the crimes you accuse him of really don't have to be established. 